Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. We are here today to talk about water conservation in the state of California and as a result, hopefully, in the entire United States. Water supply is going to be something that wars are going to be fought over. In point of fact, in certain areas of the world, this is already happening. The more water that we save, the less potential for damages of all kinds to strike us. As to my own personal epiphany, it all started when my water flow became restricted. I live in a 96-year-old apartment complex in what we can politely call a hovel, and being at the bottom of a row of hovels, the faucet in my kitchen began emitting a trickle rather than a normal flow. What used to come out of the faucet about an inch thick now came out in about an eighth of an inch wide trickle, regardless of how far I turned the faucet. At first, this seemed to be an inconvenience to not have a stronger flow, but I found in actuality that it makes almost no difference at all and that most actions in a daily routine involving water were not affected in any way whatsoever. With the exception of filling a water bottle or bowl, no time or convenience was lost whatsoever, and an immense amount of water was saved by virtue of just using only the small amount that was necessary. Outside of filling a glass of drinking water, every other action, washing my hands, washing dishes, etc., took almost exactly the same amount of effort and time and used significantly less water in the process. So I got to thinking, what if everyone in the state could make this adjustment? The amount of water that could be saved would be tremendous. I used to teach whitewater canoeing all over the country, and as such, I am abundantly aware of water sources and water flows. The rivers that I love are being dammed more and more as the demand for water grows. There are going to be wars over water, people. There are already water wars raging in some parts of the world. So what if we passed a law that said every new faucet and every upgrade of any old faucet in the state of California would have to have a detent? a little catch in the process of turning it on that would allow the faucet to set itself at the same small trickle every time you turned it on. They have these on radios and fans and heaters, etc. already. You have a series of clicks to increase or decrease the sound, volume, flow, whatever. This one simple function could save oodles of aqua. How much water, Rick? Well, let's do the math on this in just a general manner. There are almost 40 million people in the state of California, and let's assume that half of them wash their hands once a day. That doesn't seem to be too horrible of an overreach. Having a trickle rather than a normal flow saves you 44 ounces per hand wash, or 6,875,000 gallons of water every day every day. That's two and a half billion gallons a year, people. That is a lot of water. And if you used a trickle in every available daily situation, you would almost surely double that number. So why make this a law? Why not just train everybody to apply this technique? Well, that's going to be very hard to do. People just don't remember, or they won't receive that information for some reason or the other. But I think most people are perfectly willing to conserve water if the means are readily available to them. And if you are trained to do this, you will apply this technique even when the faucet doesn't have a detent on it. When I wash my hands in a restaurant now, it's trickle-down mode, baby. So how do we initiate this process? Well. You get in touch with your state legislator and tell them to go to therealtrickledown.com and check out the concept. And if you have any ideas on how to implement this bill into the political landscape, it will be gratefully accepted. Hopefully we do this before the election. Hopefully we make this an issue that they cannot avoid. No punting the issue down through the decades. 
This seems eminently achievable to me. What is more non-political and important than water conservation? This should be a completely non-partisan issue that both sides can agree on. When's the last time that happened? Maybe this will convince them that they can work together for the public good. Maybe this will change the entire political landscape. Maybe discord will discard and, and harmony will ensue and there will be unicorns flying your children to school every day and... Uh, okay, sorry. Anyway, that's the pitch, folks. Please share this with as many people as you can and get in touch.